Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. Believe it or not, there's a death trap between you and I right now, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How come spiders make silk? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need your camera. Today, I am going to show you how to snap your very own professional spider web photos right at home. And here's the wicked cool thing about it. You aren't going to need a $50,000 camera to do it either. Because I am going to show you three easy tips that you can do right at home to snap your very own professional spider web photos. So, first thing you got to do is you got to find a spider web. Okay, tip number one. You want to make sure that you get the lighting just right. You don't want too much light, but then again, you don't want too little light. So the best time to snap photos is on a cloudy day or at sunset. It just happens to be a cloudy day at sunset. Tip number two. You are going to get your camera as close to the action as you possibly can. Uh, you're in my personal space. You are going to get yourself something black. Gee, I wonder what I have around here that could possibly be black. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> My backpack. <laughs> You're gonna place your black object directly behind the spider web. A lot like this. Whoa, now check that out, man. You got a professional photo of a spider web right at home, and you didn't even need a professional camera. Now that is so wicked cool. Okay, so, so uh, how did spider webs evolve, and where did silk production begin? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Silk production and arthropods evolved long before the first true spiders, which was used to keep cocoons of water around these animals so they could continue to breed during dry seasons. The first primitive spider ancestors used silk to keep water near their gills so they could leave the water and make a living on the land 390 million years ago. About 300 million years ago, a group of spiders known as mesothelae, which had silk producing glands underneath the abdomen instead of at the back, began to use their silk glands to make egg sacs, lay down signal lines, as well as to line their burrows to keep the walls from collapsing, much like modern day tarantulas. Around 250 million years ago, spinnerets began to evolve towards the back of the abdomen and spiders started to form elaborate sheet webs, similar to funnel sheets laid down by some modern day spiders. These webs would help collect insects that hadn't yet perfected flight, which would fall out of the skies and onto these sticky sheets. It's not until about 165 million years ago we start to see spiders with spinnerets at the back of their abdomen, which were used to build webs that resemble the most common known spiral spider webs of today. These spiders evolved these net traps in the sky to trap insects, which by this time had perfected flight. So now you know more about spider web evolution. You know, making your own professional spider web photos right at home is why science is so cool. Special thanks to the Mid America All Indian Center for allowing us to film this so cool science file on their grounds. For more information, visit www.theindiancenter.org.